Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and this week I'm going to be reviewing an app called Ford File Manager Pro. Now this is an app which lets you view files and other items stored on various cloud services such as Dropbox and Google Drive. So it's essentially sort of bringing a finder-like experience to your iOS device. Now you can also store files within the app locally on your device, so that's another feature which you can use. Now it's available for free 99 on the App Store and it's a universal app so you can download it and pay for it once and then you can access it on your iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch all for free. Now the app does support file formats including pages, numbers, keynote, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, PDF files, images, web files, audio files, video files as well as zip files so you can use those as well. Now if I just go into the app I've set up Touch ID protection so I need to scan my fingerprint um, to get in. I'll show you how to set that up later on. But you're just greeted with the main interface which has your files and the location selector. So in the sidebar on the left you can see we have a few categories here. So I'm on local files at the moment. So this is basically files that I've stored onto the iPad. So if I signed out of the uh, cloud services these files would still be here. And also if I deleted the app these files would disappear because they're locally stored on the iPad and not in a cloud service and if I go um, underneath that I'm not going to click on it because it does reveal personal stuff but underneath local files it has document picker and under that there's iCloud so document picker op opens iCloud Drive and same with iCloud I think they need to sort of get rid of one of them because they both seem to do so the same thing you've got favorites so you can uh, favorite um, different items so if you look in the actual local files viewer I've got a tutorial PDF and if you look to the right of that there's actually a star next to it. So that's indicating that I've in put that as a favourite item and I can access them all from this one favourite um, category. Now I'm just actually going to show you this tutorial. This is basically when you get the app, you get this small tutorial um, PDF which you can go through and look at all the features through there. So that's what you can go to when you first download the app. Beneath the favourites and the sidebar, we've got recently viewed, so that's pretty standard. You can just see any recently viewed files. Underneath that, you've got connections. Now, these are basically the various cloud services that you've connected. So, in my case, I've added my Dropbox account and my Google Drive account. I can also look at my image gallery, and that is just going to open my photo library on my iPad and let me browse through there. And then you've got the built-in web browser. So... This is what you'd use to actually go on and sign on to any services which aren't supported uh, natively by the app. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So if I go down underneath that and tap add connection, you see it comes up with a list of these various connections. So we've got supported uh, native services, so box.com, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive and SugarSync. Now the web browser option that I showed you is going to be used if perhaps you've got something which isn't shown out of these five services at the top. So if you had a service, I think uh, I think Mediafire is one. Um, if you have a Mediafire account, and obviously there is that isn't supported natively by the app, you can tap on the web browser and navigate to that web page, sign in, and then you can add that to the File Manager Pro app. So you can use basically any cloud sharing service that you've got. Underneath that, we've got the option to connect to an FTP server or a WebDAV account. So if you want to do it like that, then you can. Or you can also use Wi-Fi Connect to connect to a cloud sharing service. Now, underneath that, you can access, you can toggle your image gallery and web browser off. So if you don't want them to be displayed in the sidebar, then you can just tap on them and they will disappear. Now, next, I'm going to take a look at the settings. So if you look at the bottom of the sidebar, there's a settings icon. I'm just going to tap on that, and it's going to bring me into the settings now. From here, I can look at the security options that I've got. So I can set a PIN or a password to get into the app. So every time I close the app and go back in, it will ask me to type this PIN or password, depending on which one I've chosen. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I've enabled Touch ID, which obviously will only work if you've got a device with a fingerprint scanner. But essentially what this lets you do is log into the app with your fingerprint. So if I demo it again, if I go home, and now if I try opening the app, it's going to ask me for my fingerprint. So I can just scan my finger and then it will let me. So underneath that, there's file information. So you can show thumbnails for images. Now when this is turned on, next to any image names or any document names, you'll actually see a small preview of the 
actual file, which is basically the thumbnail. So if I go back to my local files, where it has uh, the video intro, you, you might be able to see that. Um, it would actually have a small preview of the video, so you'll be able to sort of see what you're um, going to tap on before you actually tap on it. So that's a nice feature to have. Uh, down below, you have file details. So when you turn this on, it will display information such as the file size, the date created, and um, just the time it was last edited, and just beneath the document name. So if you want to have that in there, then you have the option. You then have the option to sort your directories on top and make all viewed files appear in the local files folder from the main menu. So if you want to be able to do those two options, then you can have them there. Now you can change the maximum cache size using the option below. And then there's also the option to completely clear it out. So if you want to um, so obviously clear out the app and save space, then you can do it like that. Next, you've got the connections options now. The first item is show connections, which is basically the same as the menu on the sidebar. So you can see all your various connections that you've got set up with the app. Um, you've got activate iCloud. So what it will let you do is let you use the document picker or the iCloud uh, options in the sidebar. And it will sync between all your iOS devices. So if you've put anything in from the app, it will sync across to your other devices and you can use iCloud straight from here and underneath that you've got picker access which will create a folder in iCloud Drive basically a file manager pro folder and then that will obviously enable you to go on to say a Windows PC or web browser and add files to the iCloud Drive folder so if the, the device you're using doesn't sort of support the file manager pro app maybe there isn't a version of the app for that device then you can obviously use this to put the files in the folder and then access them on your iOS device afterwards. So at the bottom there's just a few developer sort of marketing options so you can tap other great apps and it will just give you some other apps made by the developer. And at the bottom you can just edit your master panel so just change the way things are looking and just customize the whole lay layout. So I'm actually going to go back to local files and I'm just going to go through a couple of the features of the actual file viewer. So on top of the sidebar, you've got search. So that's just a standard. You just type in for search if you're looking for something. And in the top right hand corner, you'll have edits. Now you can use this to tap on uh, edit and then you can have various options. So you can tap on, say, these two, this folder and you can select all, all of the items. You can favorite that item. You can create a new folder. You can copy or move it. You can rename it, you can open it in another app if you want to, or you can delete it and you get more options down there. So that's edit and also in the edit menu you can rearrange them and that sort of thing. At the bottom you've got view, so you can just change the view of the actual file, so you can choose between a list, columns or a gallery, depending on which one you prefer. And you've got sort at the bottom, so you can sort all, the, all your files by the size the name, the date, or the type, which I've got selected at the moment. So if I just put it by name, it will just sort it in the different way that I've told it to sort it itself out into. So that's basically uh, how you can use File Manager Pro. It's quite a simple app. It's very handy if you have a lot of cloud storage services and you want to be able to access them all in one go rather than having to go into the Google Drive app and then open the Dropbox to access something from there. So it's just a nice way to bring everything all together. But anyway, that's it for this app review. If you've got any questions or comments on the app or you want to see an app get reviewed, leave a comment down below. Or if you've got a more in-depth question, don't hesitate to get in contact with me using the details that will be up in the description of the video. Don't forget to like this video by giving it a thumbs up and also subscribe to see more weekly app reviews. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.